half pounds of marijuana to the cover agents. There he is. And a year later, uh, I was arrested for it, and uh, I had to pay a big fine and uh, a lot of lawyer's fees. But the uh, the uh, cop that busted me was a, a man named uh, Leo Schupron, and uh, who became subsequently became a person I got to know over the years and decades. Certainly, I hired him, and when he was a private eye in 1999 to uh, do something for me. And uh, later on, <clears throat> I called him. I once told him that, uh, you know, busting me was the best thing that could happen for me because it shook me out of my, my uh, bad period and uh, got me to uh, saving up some money and taking a one-way uh, uh, plane trip to Europe where I lived for several years. And anyway, um, in, I think it was 2010, I, uh, I, I used to have these filler jobs, and I still probably do, at the Census Bureau. So, you know, two or three, uh, for two or three decades, I've uh, been a, an enumerator. Anyway, in 2010, they, that little old uh, conviction caught up with me, and I was red tagged by the FBI. And I called up the Census Bureau, and they, I told them that, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't apply. And they looked at it, and they, she, the woman said, oh, shit, just it's out of your record, just go go get it approved. So I, I went to the state pardons board and they didn't even take my time looking at it, they, they, they approved me. And, uh, but I uh, recently, actually, just a few days ago, called up uh, Leo Chupron, who's now about 85 years old, told him that uh, he had a song, he, had, he was named in a song that I had written, and he said, well, send it to me. So I sent it to him, and he thanked me. Oh, conviction. it up 